Hi, this is Brad from Power Tools. In this video, we're going to go through setting up variant options for the filter menu. So, firstly, let's log into the filter menu app, and then we'll go to filter menu, and then to variant option filters. So, in this particular store, we have size options. So, we just type in size, and we also have color options. We'll just minimize this so we can see and as you can see the size options have already been created and the color options are just being done at the moment. Note your store may take a bit longer to run. Um, I've already done this a couple of times on this store so everything's already prepped up. We can check the status by going to the pending jobs and we can see that this is already run. So if we reload we'll now see we've got all the colors as well. So if we press save and update and we go to our live store you can see we have the filters for type, size and color. As we drill into an option for example it'll only give us the sizes for snowboards and it doesn't give us any colors because the snowboards only come in a single color. But if we were to say go to jackets, we have the jacket sizes and then all the colors. Now one thing you'll notice is that we have some overlap here and we also have quite a lot of overlap with the colors. So I'll just show you how we can merge filters. So for example, uh, we had small, medium and large. Here we go. So let's say we want to merge a whole number of other filters into the small filter. So we scroll down and let's say everything from a size 9 to a, an 11 is a small. So then we can add those aliases. Likewise we can do the same for medium. So Everything from say 12 and 13 and so on and we can repeat that process. So if we press save and update now we'll notice that some of these will go away but if we were to select medium some of these products would actually use that other format of sizing. Let's see if we can find one. There we go. So even though we're on the medium filter, we have things that are in the numerical sizes. So that's how we merge filters. And you can do the same for size and color. As you can see, we have a lot of colors, so we may, for example, want to merge a whole number of the black type colors. Oops, too far. There are a lot of blacks. So all the blacks we can select, and these will all get merged into that primary black filter. Here we go, hibernation filters. And what we'll notice is that all of these have been merged into that single filter. And you can repeat that process for all the other filters as well. So if we go back out, and you notice here we had, oh, let's add in, we'll add in one additional color. anthracite. So we'll press save and update. 
This will just take a little while to run. So if we reload the page now, we'll see we've lost the anthracite filter because it's hidden. And then the black filter will come up. Now if we select that, you'll notice that the color, even though we selected the black filter, the anthracite color has come up. So that concludes the process of adding variant option filters into the filter menu. Thanks for watching.